Hello golfers, it's John Dunnigan and more Car Side Coaching. The skills slash challenge balance. Dr. Mark Guadagnoli and Tim Lee came up with this idea of controlling practice. Most people don't practice anyway, they exercise. But controlling practice where you have a goal that you're going to try to reach. So let's say that I'm going to try to get 7 out of 10 on this green. That's a goal. The skills challenge balance is, well, if that goal is set too easy, let's say that I should be getting you know, 9 out of 10 and I set it to 7 out of 10, well, I'll get bored. It would be too easy. If it's too hard where I say, okay, I need to get 10 out of 10 because I'm a golfer and I need 10 out of 10, and I take that test three times, and I cannot do it, well, then I'm going to get pissed. And the fact of the matter is, uh, this is a, a motivation kind of thing. When you set the challenge correct, where it feels like you're just stretching your skills up to the next level, and I see this routinely in my coaching, where I get these big giant grins on people's face, and I go, you're at practice right now, and you feel like you've just achieved something, and it felt more like real play. Now we're starting to really practice well. So control this challenge point and the thing I love about it is it's scalable. So let's go back to our 10 ball test example. Okay, 10 balls on the green. Maybe what you do is to assess your skills is you give it a shot. Okay, let's say it's 125 yards. I don't, I don't really care what the distance is. And you try it and you get 5 out of 10. And you try it again and you get 6 out of 10. You try to get you get 3 out of 10. Maybe you take the average of that, let's call it 5. And go, okay, that is my new goal to beat the next time. Now, over time, you're going to up that number. Then you're going to get to the point where you're 9 or 10 out of 10. Okay, now we need to increase the challenge again. This is when I would go, okay, now let's hit a driver to that fairway. At, at uh, the driving range where I coach golf, I put poles in out there to give me a fairway. Very good idea, by the way. Let's go hit the drive, now the approach shot. And maybe we only track that approach. Maybe we track both the drive and the approach. Maybe we add, you got that one going? So once once you're getting there and you're beating eight out of 10, it's, it's time to ratchet up the difficulty. So we might even add two clubs. Let's, let's hit a driver, an approach shot, and a wedge. And you're moving targets around to different edges or different sides of the fairway. So you're never really aiming straight out all the time. You're trying to simulate more real golf. And then once again, you scale those. So it might turn out that, all right, I've been getting eight out of 10, nine out of 10 routinely on this test. And then we start to change the challenge and all of a sudden you go down to five. Well, now you know you're starting to practice really, really well and you reset the goal once again. So having your practice scalable where it can uh, it can change in the goal, the severity of the challenge to match or just a little bit exceed your skill level, that's a secret. Humongous motivator, right? You want to make your practice really sick? Make it motivational. Most people are just going out there, they're going to the rock pile, right? And they're not really practicing it. And the way that they practice doesn't even uh, transfer to the golf course because they're practicing in a completely non-golf-like context. So I want you to really consider that. 
okay? And I want you to keep this idea of the challenge point, skills, challenge, balance, in mind all the time when you practice. Yep, it's not as comfortable. It's more comfortable to hit the same shot over and over again. You feel like you did something in practice. But performance during practice is not necessarily learning, okay? Start stretching your skills. Go out of your comfort zone. Push yourself to a new level. Trying to get out. Hit him great.